Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm talking red lips. It is the time of year that I like to call the season of the red lip, where it's kind of going from autumn to the festive period and that is just an all round red lip time of year for me. There's like a good solid three months where this is all I want to wear. So today I'm going to be showing you how to nail the perfect red lip two ways and this video is in collaboration with Rimmel. A lot of you will know that for a long time now I've been a fan of the Rimmel lip products from the Exaggerate lip liners to the Moisture Renew lipsticks. The Moisture Renew lipstick in I think it's Notting Hill Nude is just one of my all-time favourite nudes and the Kate Moss Lasting Finish lipsticks are some that I fell in love with quite recently and today I'm going to be showing you how to nail the perfect red lip using the Rimmel The Only One matte lipsticks and I've spoken about these a little bit before. The quality and the texture of these are absolutely beautiful and I love the colour range as well. They have some perfect nudes and some perfect reds which are so up my street but the range is so big that I think there's a little bit of something for everyone. So I'm going to be using two today and show you two ways to rock the red lip so I really hope you guys enjoy my tips and little how to that I've put together for you. So my first tip for rocking a red lip is actually a pre makeup application tip and it would just be to moisturise or moisturise and exfoliate your lips before any makeup goes on your face. If you're prone to quite dry and flaky lips I would highly recommend using a scrub before you do anything and then using some lip balm after that. For me I don't really have overly dry lips at the moment so I would just go straight in with a lip balm and I do this before I put any makeup on so that by the time you come to the end of your makeup and you start to apply your red lip your lips are really lovely and hydrated already. And then before you apply your red lip something else to think about is lip liner. This isn't something that everyone loves doing. Sometimes I prefer just to go straight in from the bullet. Um, I think sometimes it can be a little bit more natural and a little bit more soft. Sometimes lip liner can look a bit harsh and if you feel that way but you want to use lip liner you can always smudge it in a little bit with your finger and just help to soften it. I also feel like it stops you colouring outside the lines as well because I am like a five-year-old with a colouring book when I'm working on my own face. It definitely does help to prevent you from going over the natural line of your lip. So now we're moving on to the ways to wear section of this video where I'm just going to give you a few ideas on the kind of makeup looks that you could pair with each red lip and obviously this is quite an individual thing so you don't have to follow these examples, you can tweak it, you can do whatever you want but I just thought that would give some of you an idea of how I would wear each of these red lips. So first up I'm going to be talking you through how I would wear the classic red lip. So for this I'm going to be using the Rimmel The Only One matte lipstick and this is in the shade 500 to take the stage. So this is just a gorgeous very classic red lip colour and I think this is absolutely gorgeous and although it's quite a classic colour I think there are definitely ways which you can make this a little bit more modern and the way that I'm showing you today is one of my favourites. So first off I started with a really lovely light but very flawless base. So for this I'd recommend something like a cushion foundation, a very lightweight foundation or a BB cream. And I feel like this kind of base just helps the skin to look really flawless but very fresh at the same time and I think that gives it a little bit more of a modern twist than quite a heavy matte foundation. And in terms of the rest of the face for this look I wouldn't really do too much. What I would recommend is adding a little bit of a very subtle cream highlighter over the cheekbones and temples and down the centre of the nose just to give your skin a really gorgeous glow and accentuate the glow that that lightweight base has already given you. If you're a bronze addict you can use a tiny bit of bronzer if you're a contour addict to do that but keep it quite light because I think that that really helps to make this look just a little bit more fresh. I feel like the very traditional way in which we all see this classic red lip is with very kind of perfect um, quite structured makeup and I think sometimes it's a little bit nicer just to soften it that little bit more. And in the theme of keeping things soft I've done the same with the eyes as well. I've just used a really lovely neutral kind of shimmery eyeshadow and just a little bit of a darker kind of crease colour. Nothing too heavy just a very nice mid-toned brown just to create some definition around the eyes and still help them to stand out but not overpower the lip colour. And with the eyeshadow I would definitely recommend lots of lovely long lashes whether you want to add individual false lashes or or just use a really lengthening defining mascara I think that long lashes just look lovely and in terms of brows as well I've kept those quite light I've brushed them up and set them in place and I've added a little bit of brow gel as well just to fill them out a tiny bit but we're not going too heavy at all I wanted them to look really light and fluffy for this look and what I've also done with this is given the brows more of a rounded shape as well as opposed to more of an angled cut because again that rounded shape just helps them to look so much softer and I've been doing this a bit more recently and I just think that it suits my face shape so much better so I would definitely recommend giving it a try if you are quite used to the more angled brow yourself. And then finally I'm applying the Rimmel The Only One Matte Lipstick in the shade 500 Take the Stage to my lips and this is gorgeous and applies so so smoothly. 
So that is look number one, and now we are moving on to look two, which is the Seasonal Berry Red Lip. And for this, I'm going to be using the Rimmel The Only One Matte Lipstick in the shade 810, which is the matte factor. And this is just a gorgeous berry red. It is so beautiful. Da, 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 da. There we go. So this lip colour is ever so slightly darker and heavier than the previous one. You could wear it in the very same way that I've just talked you through, or you could go the opposite end of the scale and go for something a little bit more dramatic. So for this I feel like you can get away with a lightweight base or a heavy base. I often wear this kind of colour with my Charlotte Tilbury uh, Magic Foundation, which I just think works so so well, and it gives a really lovely perfect flawless look. But I think that with a dark colour like this it is actually quite nice to emphasise the eyes a little bit more, so for this look today I've gone with a really gorgeous golden eyeshadow and I'm just defining the crease a tiny little bit and I've kept quite neutral mid shades. I haven't really gone for anything too warm or too icy and I think the use of a gold shade is a nice kind of festive knob but you can get away with it outside of the Christmas time as well. It warms up the eyes and face nicely and it's not too heavy. It's kind of the perfect companion to go with this lip colour and then to finish that off I went in and applied a small flick of liner just to define the eyes that little bit more. I didn't go too heavy and then of course just went in with loads and loads of mascara because that is my personal preference and I wanted to make the eyes stand out and balance out to the very dark lip a little bit more. For my brows I made them a little bit more structured but not in a very angular way. I've still gone for a slightly more rounded shape but they are definitely more bold than the previous look and again that's because I went a little bit heavier on the eyes and I want to just keep my whole face nice and balanced out. And then to finish off the whole look and tie the eyes and face together I've just gone in with a lovely golden highlight in a similar shade to the eyeshadow. I find that with a dark red lip sometimes your face can kind of lack the glow a little bit more so it's really nice to add that back in with highlighter. So of course finally I'm applying the Rimmel The Only One Matte Lipstick in the shade 810 The Matte Factor and that is the finished look. So that is how to nail the perfect red lip. Don't forget to check out the Rimmel UK website because they have the Rimmel lip library on there which has all of the colours and textures from all of the ranges for you guys to check out. I hope you're all having the best day and you like this video and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!